Welcome. In front of me is a Verney M5 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. So obviously you can see that well, this device is locked and I can unlock it either using the verification uh, via the uh, Google or I believe there was a pen pattern or password, something like that. But anyway, you can clearly see that the device is locked. So to begin the actual bypass, what you want to do is basically go back to the first page right over here and uh, start off by basically connecting to Wi-Fi, assuming you are not already connected. And once you are connected, then get back to the welcome page right here and tap on the vision settings. From here, you want to tap on the talk back and simply enable it. Now I'm going to enable it and mute it, actually mute it before maybe. I'm going to mute everything because it's going to be really annoying. So there we go. So now it's enabled. Now if you didn't mute the device like I did, then it's most likely talking uh, really loudly right now and being really annoying. But anyway, once you have enabled the talkback settings and you see this page right here, what you want to do is simply draw an L on the screen. Uh, you don't have to start anywhere, just the shape of an L on the screen like this. And from here, once you see this pop up, you want to choose the talkback settings. So right here, tap on it once to select it and then double tap on it to confirm it. This will take you to the, well, obviously, talkback settings. And from here, what you want to do is, I believe it was scroll down. So to actually scroll down right now, uh, we will need to turn off the talkback settings or all well, the talkback in general. So hold park or volume up and down, both of them. And once you see this pop up right here, again, select OK, double tap it, and now we can normally use the display. So let's scroll down all the way and choose help and feedback. And then we're going to tap on the about switch access for Android, as I just did. And you can see there is a video, so you want to tap on it, it will load it up. That's also why we needed internet. And once it loads it up, you have the three dot option right here. I'm gonna tap on it and from here choose watch later which will open up a web browser so let's tap on accept and continue and no thanks i'm not sure why it went to tab view so let's tap on it and from here tap on the search bar and simply navigate to hardreset.info website okay and then once you're on the site, tap on the three bars right up here. Now this it doesn't actually pop up because of the three bars. It just pops up normally without any intervention. But going back, so tap on the three bars and go to the download category. And from here in the download search bar, you want to search for Android 7.1.2. Okay, and let's search. And there should only be one application here visible for download. So tap on the download, scroll down, and again, tap download once more. Let's update permissions right here. Tap on allow and okay. And once it's done downloading, click on open. And now before we can actually install it, we'll need to go into the settings right here. And let's scroll down, select unknown sources, confirm it. And let me quickly check. Okay, so once you enable the unknown sources, go back. And it looks like we need to go into the download. So Either click on, I believe, three dots, or that should be right here, or the red arrow. Uh, it just changes sometimes depending if there's an update. And from here, go to the downloads and tap on the after we've downloaded and select next and install. This will in turn install it. Select done. And now what you're looking for, let's go back. Go back once more. 
and when you see the search bar again you want to now look for settings okay so let's search for that again there should only be one option download and again scroll down and select download and then install now once you open up the settings what you want to do is now want to scroll down i believe it's going to be security there we go security and from here scroll down to device administrator oh, there we go it is device administrators and deselect the device admin manager deactivate for this device and go back and once you go back also make sure something okay so once you go back uh, you want to now go into the apps there we go apps tap on the three dots show system and scroll down to g we're looking for specifically google play services so there we go as you can see we have google play services and uh, select that disable app and we're also looking for google play let's see google uh, google account manager so that's going to be somewhere above there we go google account manager again disable disable app and once you have disabled both of the apps, I'm gonna go back, back to here, the main settings page. And what you wanna do now is go into accounts. So it's gonna be somewhere at the bottom. There we go, accounts. Tap on add account and select Google. And from here, simply log in with your Google account. Now, if you don't have one, you can always create it. It's completely free. Um, so you can do that or again you can use your existing google account which is what i'm going to be doing i'm going to put in password there we go so i have logged in stuff on i agree i disregard this pop-up right now it doesn't really matter anymore it has allowed us to actually add the google account so once you have added the google account you want to go to apps and re-enable the apps that I have disabled. So let's stop again, three dots, show system, and scroll down back to the G letters. There we go, so Google Account Manager, then select Enable, go back, and also re-enable the Play Services, like so. And you can see that they are both enabled now. So what you wanna do now is simply hold Par key, select Reboot, and wait for the device to boot back up. Now again, we'll need to disable the talkback settings because they're still on. So as you can see, I basically have to double tap exit. And let's see if that made it work. Nope, it's okay. Uh, hold volume up and volume down again. And suspend, so select OK, double tap it then. And yep, now it's working fine. Okay, so let's now go through the setup. Now at this moment, you want to skip uh, basically everything that you can. It doesn't really matter how you set up your device, uh, we still need to reset it anyway. Yeah, you can see that it gave us a message that account was added. Now this refers uh, to the account that we have added right before the reboot. And this is also previously the page that would tell us that we needed to verify the uh, old Google account. So simply tap on next and basically bypass this at the moment. Now I'll mention this once more that the device is still not fully unlocked so even though we can finish up the setup right now and gain access to the home screen the device is still in a way unlocked so what we need to do is basically finish it up and then go to the settings and perform a factory reset of the device through settings which will then fully unlock the device. Yeah, so as you can see we are now on the home screen so again let's go into the settings
scroll down to backup and reset choose factory data reset and then tap on the reset phone and erase everything now this will take several minutes um, it's gonna go through a full uh, factory reset of the device but once it's finished we'll be done back in the setup screen at which point we can set it up as however we like so I'll be back once the setup is actually visible Okay, so now that the reset is finished, I'm gonna go through the setup of it really quickly. Skipping everything that I can, but like I said, you can set it up as however you like now at this point. And there we go, as you can see the setup is finished and the device is fully unlocked. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.